Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Over the past 20 years, militaries worldwide have invested heavily in drone technology. In 2011, Northrop Grumman introduced the top-secret X-47B, an unmanned aerial combat vehicle boasting some very impressive capabilities. Designed to be operated from an aircraft carrier, the X-47B is 38 feet long but boasts a wingspan of 62 feet. This gives the vehicle an appearance not unlike the stealth bomber or stealth fighter of the previous generation. In order to save space aboard the ship, the aircraft incorporates folded wing technology. And while it can be used to fulfill many roles, it is first and foremost a combat vehicle. In fact, it boasts two weapons bays capable of delivering 4,500 pounds of the ordnance, all without putting American pilots at risk. The X-47B is the first drone plane to take off and land from a moving aircraft carrier successfully. Using the same arresting hook system as other aircraft, the X-47B can perform picture-perfect landings repeatedly. One of the other things that make the X-47B so versatile is its aerial refueling capabilities. In fact, it's the first drone to interface with a refueling tanker in mid-air successfully. Though it already boasts a range of 2,400 miles, the ability to refuel without landing means that the X-47B can theoretically stay aloft for days or even weeks at a time. This is because there is no human component to be considered. As the Navy and Army continue to embrace the potential of unmanned aircraft, pilots may soon find themselves spending much more time out of harm's way. Though the U.S. Air Force has also embraced drone technology, naval admirals seem to be much more enamored with the potential of these vehicles. Being out at sea and having to deal with threats from above, below, and at surface level, it makes sense that aircraft carriers would want to patrol the vicinity with drones. That's where the MQ-8 comes in. Another Northrop Grumman innovation, this autonomous helicopter drone is known affectionately as the Fire Scout.
fully loaded with fuel, it can stay aloft for eight hours at a time, using powerful sensors to increase situational awareness for the shipboard crew. Though typically used for reconnaissance only, some models have been outfitted with APKWS rocket systems should they encounter any potential threats. However, the real benefit of the MQ-8 is the ability to patrol at 130 miles per hour, despite being only 24 feet long. The MQ-8C, on the other hand, boasts a much bigger profile. In fact, it is nearly the same size as a manned helicopter and boasts some drastically improved capabilities over its smaller counterpart. For instance, the C model can move at 160 miles per hour and reach ceilings of 20,000 feet. It can also carry 2,950 pounds of weapons, ordnance, or cargo, making it an excellent way to support troops in the field. In fact, one of its primary applications is as an anti-submarine weapon. Since it can hover above the water's surface, it can more easily identify underwater threats and use depth charges to deal with them. The MQ-8C has already seen extensive use in a number of arenas, and it's a common sight at military air bases on land as well. Despite the introduction of these new models, the MQ-9 remains the workhorse drone of the American military. For more than 20 years now, the Reaper has been supporting troops on the ground, participating in covert reconnaissance missions, and even working to destroy enemy convoys, while being controlled by a pilot from the safety of a military base far from the scene of action. I, as a pilot, my primary role is to get the aircraft where it needs to be. That way he can use, utilize the camera on the bottom side of the aircraft to exploit our targets, find the bad guys, and make sure the good guys can come home safely, right? So, as we're running around, as we're searching, we have about 16 hours of flight time so we can stay airborne for a long time. What we also carry on the other side of the aircraft is the capability to carry up to four 500-pound bombs and or two bombs and then four Hellfires. Of course, the military's mission is not all about weapons and warfare. In many cases, drones are needed to monitor a body of water for illegal fishing, smuggling activity, or even to perform climate-based tests. In this case, the Navy or Coast Guard may employ the Sail Drone Explorer, an unmanned, solar-powered vessel that can remain in the ocean for up to 12 months without intervention. The hull of the ship is 23 feet long and features a powerful solar sail that stands 15 feet high. From mapping the ocean floor to tracking fish and mammal activity, each sail drone explorer is outfitted with equipment and technology to perform a specific job, beaming all the relevant data back to a central location in real time. Now that drone technology has officially exploded onto the scene, militaries all around the world are looking into just how much they can do with unmanned vehicles. In fact, the U.S. Marines recently tested a remote Jeep, or ground unmanned support surrogate, in Hawaii. 
This vehicle is designed to operate via sensors and can do its duty both with and without a driver. Obviously, the idea of being able to navigate a battlefield situation without a human in control has huge applications. However, only time will tell if remote technology will ever be able to fully replace combat troops. Still, the prospect of reducing or removing wartime casualties is sure to keep engineers focused on improving drone technology for years to come. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.